Okay, so we've been told that rod of one is not able to ping a rod of four and we need to fix the network. On router one, show IP route shows us that the router is learning various routes. So as an example, the router can ping the loopback of router two because that route is available in the IP routing table. It was learnt via EIGRP. Can it ping the loopback of router three? Yes, it can, because that route is in the IP routing table. We also see this network 10.1.2.0 and network 10.1.3.0 in the IP routing table. So this router should be able to ping this IP address, which it can, but at the moment it's not able to ping this IP address. So it looks like there's a problem between router 3 and router 4. As an example, if I trace to that IP address, traffic gets to router two, then to router three, and then it times out. So it looks like the problem once again is here. So I'll jump directly to router three and see if we can find out what the problem is. Now on the console, we see these messages. Notice there are many of these messages stating that the retry limit has exceeded and then a new adjacency is formed. So it looks like something is happening with EIGRP, but there's some problem with EIGRP. Notice we do see a neighbor relationship to 10.1.3.2, so it looks like a neighbor relationship is formed, but we are seeing errors here. So the neighbor relationship comes up, but then there's some kind of retry limit exceeded. So can we ping router four from router three? Yes, we can. Show IP protocols shows us that EIGRP is enabled in Autonomous System 100. We can see it's routing for various networks, but we are continually seeing these messages indicating that there's some kind of problem. Show IP route shows us the routing table, and notice we don't see network four in the output of this router. So as an example, even though we can ping this IP address, we can't ping router 4's loopback interface. So debug IP packet, as an example, will show us what the router does with that packet. And in the output there, I'll stop the ping here. You might have noticed that it said unroutable. So unall or no debug all to turn off debugging. Scrolling up, notice here it says unroutable. Now this is the problem with debugs, you can get a lot of output on the screen. But notice here we can see that the ping was unroutable. So we're continually seeing this message that an adjacency has come up and then has been exceeded. Let's have a look on router four. On router four, show IP EIGRP interfaces. EIGRP is enabled on the loopback as well as this interface. Show IP EIGRP neighbors shows us that no neighbors are displayed. Now that's interesting. On router three, show IP EIGRP neighbors shows us that the router has a neighbor relationship to router four, but router four says that there's no relationship to router three. Let's do a debug. So debug EIGRP packets. Do we see any EIGRP messages with this debug? So we see that it's sending out a hello message on gigabit 000, but we don't seem to see any messages received on that interface. Now unall turns off all debugging. If you have a problem in packet tracer, use the no debug all command they should be equivalent and you don't need to type both. I've just had problems sometimes with Packet Tracer. What I want you to see is we see hello messages being sent out of gigabit 000, but we don't see any hello messages coming back in again. On the side, debug EIGRP packets, what do we see? We see that updates are being sent out of interface gigabit 001 so I've turned off all debugging there. 
Notice in the output, sending update out of gigabit 001 to neighbor 10132. So router three is sending out an update, but it doesn't look like router four is receiving those update messages. And neighbor relationships are then being torn down. Notice again, update message, nothing seems to be happening between router three and router four. So router four is sending messages to router three. Notice in the output here, received hello on gigabit 001 from the neighbor. We are sending updates to that neighbor, but this side is not receiving any updates. So that's more than likely something like an access list blocking traffic between the two routers. Why are pings succeeding, but EIGRP updates are not being received by the router? So let's have a look. Show IP interface gigabit 000. This command shows us that the interface is up up, shows us the IP address and mask. But notice here, inbound access list is 100. An access list has been bound inbound on this interface. So show access list 100. Can you see the problem with this access list? Deny EIGRP, any, any, and notice there's a lot of matches on that access list entry and the entry is incrementing. So there definitely matches against that. That's causing a problem here because this router will not receive any EIGRP messages because that access list is blocking all EIGRP messages. So let's remove that access list. So no IP access group 100 in. So again, show IP interface and notice already the relationship has come up. We see an adjacency formed here, but show IP interface gigabit 000 shows us that the access list has been removed. I simply removed the access list from the interface. I didn't remove the access list, but it's a very simple access list. It's denying EIGRP and permitting everything else. You may want to edit the access list and leave it bound on the interface, especially if there are other entries in the access list permitting or denying other traffic. So show IP EIGRP neighbors, we see a neighbor relationship. Show IP route, routes are displaying in the routing table. On router three, show IP route. Notice we see network four in the routing table and the router can ping the loopback of router four. Back on router one, show IP route, we see network four in the routing table. Can we ping 10132? Yes, we can. Can we ping the loopback of router four? Yes, we can. Router four, ping loopback of router one, ping 10111, that all works. So we've successfully resolved the issue in this network. An access list was bound on this interface inbound that was denying all EIGRP messages. That would stop router three and router four forming a full neighbor relationship and exchanging routes with one another. Be careful, just because one side says that there's a neighbor relationship doesn't mean that the neighbor relationship has been fully formed and that routes are being exchanged. Both sides need to display the neighbor relationship and you should see the routes in the EIGRP topology database if the relationship is fully formed. That wasn't happening in this example. But there you go, we've solved the problem. Were you able to solve this lab yourself? Did you find the issue? Did you resolve the issue? Did you verify that the network works once you fixed the issue? It's important that you know how to troubleshoot EIGRP for your CCNA exam.